In this lecture, we are going to solve this question. Suppose that you read through this year's issues of the New York Times and record each number that appears in a news article. The income of a CEO, the number of cases of wine produced by a winery, the total charitable contribution of a politician during the previous tax year, the age of a celebrity and so on. Now focus on the leading digit of each number which could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. Your first thought might be that the leading digit X of a randomly selected number would be equally likely to be one of the 9 possibilities. However, much empirical evidence as well as some theoretical arguments suggest an alternative probability distribution called Benford's law. So this is that alternative probability distribution. In part A, we have to show that this function is a legitimate probability mass function and we have to show this without computing the individual probabilities. So the function is log to the base 10 x plus 1 divided by x and the values of x range from 1 to 9. Now, if this function is a legitimate probability mass function, then the sum of probabilities should be unity. So, summation px should be equal to 1. So, this implies that summation of this should be equal to 1. So, if we can show this, then this is a legitimate probability mass function. So, Let's solve the left hand side of this equation then. So, summation log to the base 10 x plus 1 divided by x is equal to log to the base 10 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus log to the base 10 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus and this goes till log to the base 10 9 plus 1 divided by 9 and this is equal to log to the base 10 2 plus log to the base 10 3 by 2 plus log to the base 10 4 by 3 plus log to the base 10 5 by 4 plus log to the base 10 6 by 5 plus log to the base 10 7 by 6 and some other values so this is 8 by 7 then log to the base 10 9 by 8 and the last value is log to the base 10 10 by 9 so, I have written down all the values, okay. So, we know that there is a property according to which log to the base 10 AB is equal to log to the base 10 A plus log to the base 10 B. So, this is a property of log function. So, using this property, we can write that this expression here is equal to log of 10 and here comes a bracket and this is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 multiplied by 4 by 3 multiplied by 5 by 4 multiplied by 6 5 5 7 by 6 8 by 7 9 by 8 and 10 by 9 and all these values cancel. So, all these values cancel and the only value that is left inside the bracket is 10. So, this is log to the base 10 and the bracket has the value 10 and this is equal to 1. So, this means that the summation of this function is equal to 1. So, this is a legitimate probability mass function. Okay, so with this we are done with part A. Let's now move to part B. So, in part B we have to compute the individual probabilities and then we have to compare them to the corresponding discrete uniform distribution. 
So to compute the individual probabilities, we just have to put the values of x in this function. So x can take values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And if we put x equal to 1 in this function, we will get log to the base 10, 2. And this value is equal to 0 0.3010. Similarly, here we will get log to the base 10, 3 by 2 and this value is equal to 0 0.1761. Here we will get log to the base 10, 4 by 3 and this value will be equal to 0 0.1249. Here log to the base 10, 5 by 4. And this value will be equal to 0 0.0969. And similarly, we can find all these values. So, probability that x is equal to 5 would be 0 0.0792. This would be 0 0.0669. This would be 0 0.058. 0 0.0. 512 and 0 0.0458. So this is the probability mass function and these are the individual probability values. Now we have to compare this to the corresponding discrete uniform distribution. Well in a discrete distribution as the value of x increases the probability value does not change it is constant. So for example so if this is a discrete uniform distribution, then the probability of x will be 1 by 9 for each of these values. So I mean that if this is a discrete distribution, then x can take these values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And for all these values, the probability would be 1 by 9, 1 by 9, 1 by 9. And this is the case for all these values because this is a discrete uniform distribution and that's what we want to compare it to. So in a discrete uniform distribution when the value of x increases the probability value remains constant 1 by 9. But in this probability function when the value of x increases the probability value is decreasing. So it was 0 0.3010, then it decreased to 0 0.1761, then it decreased to 0 0.1249. So that's the difference between these two functions, okay? So this is all about part B. Let's move to part C now. In part C, we have to obtain the cumulative distribution function of x. Well, this should not be difficult now as we have already got the probability mass function of x. So we can write capital F of x is equal to 0 if x is less than 1 because the minimum value that x takes is 1 and it is equal to 0 0.3010 if x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 2 and it is equal to 0 0.3010 plus 0 0.1761 that is 0 0.4771 if x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than 3, it is equal to 0 0.6021. If x is greater than or equal to 3 but less than 4. And similarly, we can write for the other x values as well. We just have to, you know, add these probability values to derive this cumulative distribution function. So I'll just quickly write all the values. So it is 0 0.699 if x is greater than or equal to 4 but less than 5 it is 0 0.7782 if x is greater than or equal to 5 but less than 6 0 0.8451 if x is greater than or equal to 6 but less than 7 0 0.9031 if x is greater than or equal to 7 but less than 8 and 0 0.9542 if x is greater than or equal to 8 but less than 9 and it is equal to 1 for all the x values greater than or equal to 9. 
So this is the cumulative distribution function of x. So this is all about part C. Let's move to part D. In part D, we have to use this cumulative distribution function to find the probability that the leading digit is at most 3. So that means we have to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 because we have to find the probability that the leading digit is at most 3. So this is equal to f of 3, right? And we have already found the value of f of 3 here. It is equal to 0 0.6021. So this is equal to 0 0.6021. Now the next thing that we have to find is, is the probability that the leading digit is at least 5. So this means we have to calculate the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5. And we have to use the cumulative distribution function to calculate this probability. So this is equal to the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 9, right? because the maximum value that x is taking is 9. So using the formula, I'll just write down the formula. So we have this formula that if that this is equal to f of b minus f of a minus 1. So I'll use this formula now. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 9 is equal to f of 9 minus f of 4 and from here we can see that f of 9 is equal to 1 and f of 4 is 0 0.699 0 0.699 so this is equal to 0 0.301 and that's it with this we are done with this part as well